Hi, my name is Kate, and I'm an educator here at the Maine State Museum. You probably all know by now that the museum is closed for mechanical systems upgrades and will remain closed for the next couple of years. The good news is that when we reopen, we are going to have a brand new education space, as well as a heating and cooling system that will be safe for staff and the public, as well as for the thousands of museum artifacts on display. I know you're probably thinking, well, that's great, but what about now? Over the years, many of your families have become familiar faces for us here at the museum, and we've loved watching everyone learn and grow. We truly miss having the galleries filled with excited students. We would love to bring the museum to you virtually, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about how that works. We are offering two types of programming. The first is in presentation form similar to the way you would have had a program here at the museum in person. Educators will talk about the history, and then we dive in deeper with your students to make observations. Choose from lumbering and logging, lobstering, and rocks and minerals. You kind of see that we've got some shell shapes. This thing's very similar to what you might find if you were to walk on the beach, right? These look a lot like clam shells or oyster shells, but they're, they're not related at all. Um, brachiopods are actually a little bit different than mollusks um, and are the typical shellfish that we find. So a fact that I learned, but I think is really interesting, is that if you are anywhere in the world um, and you order a lobster, say you're in a restaurant in Paris, France, and you order a lobster, there is an 80% chance that that lobster came from right here in Maine. Um, so Maine's impact on lobstering is a really important one. The most important part of this invention is a system of moving tracks. Now I bet you've seen those treads on a lot of things like bulldozers and tanks and even the basic idea for snowmobiles. Lombard got a version to work on his machine. He didn't invent it, he improved it. It's called an innovation. Now, an innovation is a change or improvement to something that already exists, whereas invention is something completely new. It's in the works now to add more subjects on Maine's history and natural history, so check back often. The second type is a workshop format. Students work directly with primary sources, artifacts, images, documents, and even sound recordings from Maine's past. There's a quick historical introduction but most of the program time is spent with students directly exploring and talking about the sources. With these workshops, students can explore topics like creating a Maine identity, power of Maine's vote, slavery in Maine, statehood on the Wabanaki, the history of pandemics, and incarceration and freedom in Maine. At first we thought this was some sort of wooden sign maybe a shop advertisement. When we dug a little bit deeper, we found out that this is a grave marker from the Maine State Prison Cemetery. And we know it was used. We see those dirt marks down here. And from reading the label together, we know that Joseph Carr was a 22-year-old from Washington County who died of tuberculosis. All right, so the next source that we have here, I'll give you a moment to look at this image. I'll zoom in so we can see it a little bit closer. All right, I have some observations coming in the chat. People are seeing a big building, and it looks like this is a baseball game that's happening here. All of our programs, both presentations and workshops, are live and hosted on Zoom. They are catered to your individual group or family. So it could be just you and your three kids. Or maybe you want to invite one or two other families that you know to join your virtual field trip. That's up to you. The best way to make a reservation is by visiting our website and filling out the online reservation form. You can request a virtual presentation or request a virtual workshop. While you're on our website, there are a lot of other resources and activities for you to check out. You can go behind the scenes with museum staff, try some old recipes, or visit the museum virtually through videos and scavenger hunts. That's it. Don't hesitate to email if you have any questions. Stay safe and we can't wait to see you soon.